Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to our program. Of in this case, we're going to focus on business. Just as I said, we're moving away from esoteric knowledge. And I did a video on the businesses, just an overall view. In my last episode. Today, I'm going to talk about the business plan. So, for anyone who has already started himself or established himself in the business, I think you know about the business plan. Maybe you skipped it, maybe you had to go through it. I know it is stressful. That is why I have to talk with the business plan for freelancers and entrepreneurs. The entrepreneurship, really. So, we can go through the business plan, really. We have to understand the meaning of business plan and why it is crucial or necessary to have it here. So, I've got my sample here, my business plan. So, it is called business plan work, workout, workbook. There's my sample. So, there are a few sections in this business plan. So, the first section is on the management. You have to fill all, all the details. Really. The second section is on the marketing. Are you going to market your, your business after you have managed, you have outlined how you're going to manage it? The third section is on production. The products or services are you going to to supply yourself really. Then the fourth section is on finance. So the calculations of the accounting now using the Excel. So there's section A, investment and startup costs. Section B is on source of investment. So you have to outline all of those. If you've got any source of investment, like taking loan. Then there's an income and expenditure. Income and expenditure, year one. So those are like the details which you have to give out on your business plan workbook. So I've got many samples of this. For anyone who wants to business plan, you can drop the comment below. For some people, you don't get it for free. You have to buy it. It's no, it is crucial. This is the most crucial when it comes to starting a business. So I think let's begin, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I'm going to explain the meaning of a business business plan and why it is necessary, why it is essential, why it is crucial to have it for any for anyone who is considering about starting up their own business. So a business plan, what is a business plan? So business plan is a tool to help you think out and plan your business before you start. So it, it is there really to help you with questionnaires, with questions, critical questions which you have to consider or reconsider before you think about going into business. So just as you will not build a house without having a plan to work on, neither would you start a business without having a plan to direct you through the first year of business. So they are putting more emphasis on the first year because that's where most of the people, most of the small businesses usually fail during the first years, three or five years. So you have to know why and how you have to establish yourself and your own businesses. So writing up a business plan takes you through a series of questions that you may not be considered, that you may not have considered, but which are very important in determining whether you can run your business and make a profit. So the aim of starting a business really is all about making a profit. Like you have products, you're selling products or, and services. So it is like supply and demand, or so demand and supply. What people are demanding, then you are there to supply it, And then you make profit from hard work. This, there is short, uh, short definition of a business really. Or the main aim or the goal or purpose of starting a business. So a business plan is an essential document which will enable you to, first of all, work out why you are going into business, how you will operate your business, and what premises and equipment you will need, where to source your finance, and who your proposed customers will be. So you have like the five essential questions, the why, how, what, where, and who. So second is like present your business proposal to founding ag agencies and lending institutions when seeking their support. So it is crucial as well, like you can present your business plan if it is more appealing, like to founding agencies. If it is appealing and lending institutions, they might lend you as well. They might give you money, some support to start up as a startup. Third point is like assuring others who may become involved for your business that you have the ability to manage and operate your affairs. So once you fail this business plan, you're assuring others to have trust in you really. 
and if they will be ready or if you, are there, if you have the ability to start a business because the opportunity is not enough. The opportunity has to be backed up with the ability. And when you have the ability, you need to have the opportunity. When there's no opportunity, since you have the ability in the first place, then go ahead and create your own opportunities. So opportunities useless without ability and abilities is still nonsense. It still doesn't make sense. So it is still useless as well without opportunities. But since you have the ability, it is so easy to create the opportunities. So let's delve inside and let me break it down for you. So we're going to take, for example, let's say I, I want to start like, a, I've got my business name, Moana Kin. It's like Moana and the Kin Dembo, just for short. Moana Kin, my first name and surname. So let's say this is a self-publishing book company. Then I'm going to explain through. This will be like the example which I'm going to take here. This tailored to me. You can change it to your name as well. So in this case, we're going to see a self-publishing book. Or self-publishing book company so creating a tell a detailed business plan for monarchy this is a the, the example you're going to see which i'm going to to tell you in this episode so a self-publishing service laying out each section with clear explanation and examples because i usually focus or put more emphasizes on the applic on the practicality i have to always to close to throw some examples they're explaining explaining and some examples so to keep everything really so here's a structure layout for a business plan tailored for this business monarchy. So in the case of knowledge, really, why I'm sharing all of this, the purpose. Knowledge, like wealth, they are meant to be used or shared. So knowledge must be shared or extended to ignorant ears and wealth multiplied in order to keep its value. In this case, I have to share the knowledge. And since we're talking about business, the wealth, also money or profit is linked with it. So the first point we're going to look at the executive summary. The second point will be on the company description. Third point we look at the market analysis. Fourth point we look at the organization and management. How can organize your business and manage it? The fifth point will be on productions and services. Sixth point will be on marketing and sales strategy. I keep putting more emphasis on the marketing and sales. This is a crucial skills which is always essential, which is needed. In every generation seven point we're going to look at the financial plan i can go ahead doing the financial plan that's what most of the law of calculations is is based on like accounting and excel as well the eighth point would be on the funding founding requirements where you can get your funds really the money for startup and ninth point would be like the, app the appendix then i'll give a quick summary of what we learned in this episode like i usually do in all the episodes really just to sum up really summary so I think you're right to begin, ladies and gentlemen. You have to tighten your belt and let's begin. So the first point is a executive summary. So we have like a business overview, giving the overview of your business. We already established that the name, the example, it will be like the monarchy, which is will be our business name in this example. So business overview. Moana Keen is a self-publishing platform dedicated to helping authors bring their stories to life. We provide comprehensive services that include editing, formatting, design like cover designing, and marketing support. So that's the business overview of Monarchy because it's a self-publishing book company. The example which we're going to use. Second is the part the, we still on the executive summary, like mission statement. You have to give a mission statement. This state the mission of the company or the business as well. The mission of mission in this case is like to empower authors by providing them with the tools and support their need to publish and promote their work independently. So that's the mission. Then the goals and the objectives, like the purpose and goal as well, what we want to achieve by doing that, by having a self-publishing. So to become a leading self-publishing service by offering high quality, cost efficient cost effectively effective solutions tailored to author's needs so cost eff effective solutions tailored to author his needs so i'm focusing more on the quality not on the quantity the second point on the company description so you have to give the description of your business or company or enterprise so the company history like you give the history of your company a brief or 
brief history about your company. Like Mwana Kino was founded, let's say, in the year 2020 by Mwana Ndeke Kindembo. This is me. So who recognized a gap in the market for accessible and author-friendly and self-publishing services. This is like the company history. So it was founded by me in 2020. So I recognized the gap in the market for accessible and author-friendly self-publishing services. Then the legal structure or legal structure, legal is more efficient, is more good. So Monakin is registered as you say is a LLS, like la, um, liable limited company, is a sole trader or sole proprietor, is a, a corporate, is a partnership. In this case, it's just a sole trader, meaning I'm the the CEO, I'm the manager, I'm managing the business myself because it's just a small business. In this example, because we just took a small businesses. So location, let's say operating primarily online with headquarters, you say the seat and the country. So if it is online or the headquarters, just give the precise location as well. The third point would be like on the market analysis, like industry overview, you have to give the industry overview or the company overview. So the self-publishing industry has grown rapidly, driven by the, the driven by the democrat, democratization, democratization of content creation and the rise of the digital platforms. Democratization of content creation. So that is like the industry itself about the book publishing or self-publishing. Then the target market, the market which you're targeting. So our target audience includes aspiring and established authors who seek greater control and flexibility over their publishing process. That's all targets. Established and aspiring authors, the new authors, the new B, the newcomers, the new indies. That is the market target, the audience. There's a target market. Now we're looking the the market trends as well, like increased preference for ebooks and the audiobooks, like because there's like the new trend, the more ebooks, the audiobooks as well, like growing demand for niche niche genre, genres and the rise of author branding. In the case of author branding, so that is the market trends. So trying to follow the trends as well. Try to blend in with the trend. The competition, you have to identify your competitors as well. Like key competitions or competitors include like the Amazon KDP, the Kindle Kindle Direct uh, Publishing, KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing, the Draft to Digital, Digital, and Ingram Sparkle. Those are like the three online book online self-publishing, books publishing. So we differentiate, how do we differentiate to it? You have to give a, a detail, some details of how you are different from them, the big companies, the big online self-publishings, which have established themselves already. So in our case, we say like we differentiate through personalized support and competitive pricing. So if the price is lower, you'll attract more customers. And if it is more personalized, more customized, that would be like contact face to face, that's much easier than Amazon. You don't even see who's publishing your book. So there's no face to face or the customer care is no good, which is provided is no reliable. Then number four, we look at the organization and management, like on organ organ organizational structure organizational structure just the, the company how it is structured how it, the team is is structured really like outline of the team including the roles such as the ceo of the company or the business marketing manager editor designer and customer service or customer support customer care and then we have the it was still on number four, organization and management. We have management team, like profiles of the management team, highlighting relevant experience and expertise. Then number five would be like the products and services, the products which you want to sell and all the services which you're providing really. So products which are tangible, physical, services can be online. So services offerings, like details, description of the services provided, you have to give a detail uh, of the description of the services which you're providing, including editing, designing or cover designing, formatting and marketing without maybe personal website as well. All of those might be like service offering, which you're offering as a self-publishing book company. Unique selling proposition, like Monarchy offers a holistic or overall approach to self-publishing combining traditional publishing 
expertise with modern digital tools. So we are in the digital world now. We have to focus more on the digitalizing everything, keeping up with the internet, di digitalizing everything like modern digital tools. Six, we look at the marketing and sales strategies. The sales part is we have to put more emphasizing and marketing. So in the case of marketing plan, you need to have a marketing plan, like utilize a mix of content, content marketing, like social medias, we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or X, uh, YouTube as well. All of those are like the social medias, LinkedIn sometimes. And the partnerships with writing communities to reach our target audience. So we want to reach the targeted audience through those social medias, through content marketing, through partnerships. Then sales strategy, like direct sales through our platform or website or anything like that, Comp like complemented by refer referral programs, referral programs and author success stories to drive word to mouth, word of mouth. So like that might be like the sales strategy. You can use like direct sales through the platforms, like complemented by referral programs, like leaflets and all of that, or author success stories to drive to drive word of mouth or you can have people or yourself having the word of mouth like selling promoting your own business really then point seven number seven is a financial plan that's where accounting kicks in numbers people with numbers i think you cannot start a business without numbers otherwise you need to get an accountant to do all the calculations for you the bookkeeping for you so fin financial plan first is like the sales forecast like it, which is based on the like the information provided. Let's let's imagine like just some speculation that expected annual revenue of let's say for eight thousand euros, price per unit is two hundred euros. Unit sold per week would be like twelve point five. Like the current monthly income and expenses. So I'm simply drawing some examples to make you understand what I'm saying really. Like the sales forecasting. Now we are like on the current monthly income and expenses, like a table showing expected monthly income and cost including overheads and the variable costs so we have like the items and the amount in euro because i live in europe we're not using the dollar sign or pound so monthly income let's say it is four thousand just some speculations we have cost per unit let's say two thousand six hundred and forty the net income is simply like the income net income is like the income minus the expenses there the net income will be like one thousand three hundred sixty two Six, 1360 so you take 4000 minus 200 and two th minus 2640 you get 1360 as a net income let's say you have the 12 month plan in this case we need to a projection of income expenses net profit of the year the next year so the income is the money which comes in the money which flows in the expenses the the liabilities, really, the cost, the demand which goes out, buying things and all of that spending, those are like the expenses. The outflow, the money which flows out of your pocket, maybe of your account. So let's say net net profit is like the income minus expenses, like those the terms which I just explained. Let's say we have a, a three-year plan instead of just twelve months. We have three years now plan, like a projection for the next three years, like showing growth expectation or speculations. And financial milestones, you have a break-even analysis. You have to consider all of those when you're talking about the financial plan, the break-even analysis. So it is the calculation or calculated based on the fixed and variable cost to determine the number of units needed to sell to cover expenses. The number of units needed to sell to cover expenses. So you have to consider all of those. So in our case, this is like a book publishing. The number of units is like the number of books. How many books can you sell to cover your expenses, the expenditures, the money which is flowing in out? So the break-even point per units, it will be like the fixed costs divided by revenue per unit minus variable cost per unit. Let's say we're giving the cost per unit is 110 euro per book. They will be like uh, saying 110 euro per book. That is too expensive. <laughs> The cost per unit, just uh, throwing some example there. So we say, for example, like for 12 month plan, we have like, like say, let's say the fixed, the fixed cost, we have given like 79,200 79, euros. Then we have the, the what, the revenue per unit of 200 euro. Then we'll do like 
if you want to calculate the break even it would be 7000 euro 200 7200 euros divided by 200 euro minus 110 which will give us 792 units that would be like the break even 792 units these are all break even analysis the number then the future big expen expenses as well yeah but you have to predict about the future really you keep planning about the future there's our business works you cannot just say today today you have to plan about tomorrow so the future big expenses like it identifies significant costs or liabilities expected in the future such as a technology upgraded upgrades or make or marketing campaigns so you have to put all of those into consideration so in the case of a business or company, you cannot be left out. You have to consider about technology upgrade. You have to keep upgrading yourself. Maybe buy a new machine, new laptop, new this, new technology which just comes in. So the more the the more the work you get done in less time, the better. The more ink, the more um, profit you're making and revenue as well. Technology upgrade or marketing campaigns as well. Number eight is the found the founding requirements. The founds requirements so in the case of founding needs it's like the amount of capital needed to start or expand the monarchy in like this side business or business name which you use in the example so including a breakdown of how funds would be used so the funds the money which you've been given really to keep the business going it's like the the petrol which you keep food keep the car keep going really which is the the funds like you have potential sources like possible founding sources such as loans investors or stakeholders or crowd funding so those are like the sources of funding loans investors or from stakeholders and crowd funding as well then number nine we look at the appendices like uh, supporting documents at the end of the business plan we have to put some supporting documents as well like including any additional materials such as detailed financial statements uh, resume resumes or resumes of the management team or legal ag agreements so that's our business plan is all about so it is like for anyone who want to start a business you have to understand the five questions the why when how who and what you have to consider all of those and see if you have the ability really to start your own business or to keep going the first years like in the first second or five years so you have to prove them wrong you have to prove them that you are capable to do it so what can you say in summary after all of this about a business plan so in summary i think this the, this is structured business plan provides a comprehensive overview of monarchy this, this is our business name example which we used helping to focus on the key areas for growth and the strat strategy implementation like you tell each section to fit the specific details and goals of your business in your case you can change the name or it depends really the quality or the type of business which you want to do in this case it is all about self-publishing in the book in the books really it's only based on the books so ensuring that you address the unique aspect of your business and self-publishing industry this is in my case the self-publishing industry this is what we looked at so you have to be more specific you give more specific details on the type the category of your business so for anyone who need any business plan workbook i think you can drop the comment below if if they maybe i'll put it online or just keep it like that so in the case i might have some maybe i may email you it if you're serious so we have you have to go through some questions as well if you're not serious maybe i'm going to charge you ladies and gentlemen just as we start thank you so much for listening and for your patience as well don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video to your friends and families as well or anyone who know who's out there who's started a business and failed or is this talk who doesn't even know where to start or where to begin i think this is a right video the correct video to share for sharing is caring so keep sharing and liking as well thanks so much ciao